Hi, my name is Matt Hinkle with MS FireNet, and today I'm going over progress capture systems and how to build them. Uh, a progress capture system is something that we use to capture progress when we're doing a mechanical advantage or when we're moving a patient through a hazardous environment. Uh, it can be something as simple as a knot or a hitch like the Munter hitch. Uh, if we have a victim that's involved in a car accident down a slippery hillside, we want to package the patient up and then move them up the hill slide without them sliding back down, we would package them into a, de a device like a SCED or a Stokes and then attach a progress capture system to them so that as they're moving up the hill, we won't drop them and then slide back down the hillside. Uh, so a few things that we're going to go over today with hardware are carabiners. Uh, this is an extra large carabiner. This is good to use for munter hitches. Uh, your regular large carabiner. Pulleys. Uh, this is a Prusik minding pulley or a PMP pulley. The reason you know that is because it has a flat bottom on it. So it mines Prusiks if you're going to use a Prusik. This is a Gibbs ascender. Uh, we can use this in a progress capture for mechanical advantage, but it is not rated for a falling load to catch a falling load. We have Prusik uh, or a Prusik loop that will tie into a Prusik hitch. Um, so we have a short one and a long one. A lot of times these are used in tandem, so it's called a tandem triple wrap Prusik. And then some of the newer things that are out today, uh, like the Petzl ID. The Petzl ID can be used as a progress capture, a descent device. Uh, it can be used for a lot of different things, but we can use it inside of our system as a progress capture. Okay, the first progress capture system I'm going to go over is the Munter Hitch. So this is just a knot that you're going to tie onto a substantial anchor, which I've already found a substantial anchor. Uh, it's best to use an extra large carabiner like this one. And I've already extended the rope on the uh, working end down to the patient for them to tie onto the sked or Stokes basket to package the patient with. So there's two different methods of tying the Munter hitch onto the uh, carabiner. The first one is tying a Munter hitch in the open so you can twist the rope in opposite directions, make one loop with the rope on top and one loop with the rope behind and then you're going to fold it either direction. So folding either direction and then clipping it onto the carabiner. And that's the munter. When you tie a munter hitch, the load line that you're taking to the patient, the one that's going to catch the load, uh, needs to be on the spine of the carabiner. So in this case, this is the load line that comes in to the munter hitch, and then it's loaded onto the spine. Okay, the other method to tie it is just to tie it straight to the carabiner. So you start by twisting the rope, basically doing a half hitch, and clipping that into the carabiner, and then bringing the rope over the top of the carabiner and locking it. And then you end up with the exact same thing. That's just the second method of tying it. Okay, to run the Munter hitch, basically I've already got the load line, which is this line going to the patient. And then as they're bringing the patient up, I'm going to take the slack out of this line. So if they fall, this hitch is going to catch them. And all you do is let the hitch roll over and then feed it through your hands as they're coming up. You want to keep a hand in contact with this line at all times because if it falls, they're going to fall. You have to hold on to it. So this does not pass the whistle test. The whistle test would be if we blew a whistle and everybody dropped everything, will this catch the patient? Which if, if we did blow a whistle and dropped everything, this is not. This is going to drop the patient. So you have to have somebody paying attention to this. And as they're running it, bring it up slack, they're just going to feed it with a hand on it at all times. If, it, if something falls, you just bring your hands together and hold it, and they're not going to go anywhere. Okay, the next method for the progress capture is going to be the Gibbs ascender. Uh, it's a hard cam, so it's a mechanical advice that cams up on the rope as we move the rope forward, uh, through it. It'll only let the rope slide in one direction, so we can use it as a progress capture. However, it shouldn't be used to catch a falling load uh, if you suspect a falling load because it's not designed to do that. So I've swapped out my, lar my extra large carabiner for just a standard large carabiner. I've got a pulley that's Prusik minding, another large carabiner, the Gibbs, and then a piece of short Prusik that I'm going to use to attach the Gibbs back to the anchor. So the first thing I'm going to do is attach the pulley to the rope and then the pulley to the anchor. Then I'm going to use the Gibbs. I'm going to attach the Gibbs to the rope with the arrow that's on the Gibbs facing the load, which is our patient. And 
Now I'm going to extend the anchor to the Gibbs because you can't connect it directly to the anchor. It's not long enough. So I'm going to use this piece of Prusik. Make sure both the carabiners are locked and that's it. It'll load. You can test it. Make sure that when it's loaded, it's, it's working properly. And then the pulley is just there for a change of direction as we're, as we're moving the patient up to pull it through. Okay, right now the load line is tight. The patient's on the load line and as they come up the uh, hillside, if we're moving a patient up a slippery hillside, I'm just going to take the slack out of this rope and then the Gibbs is going to run into the prusset mounting pulley and it's going to keep it uh, stationary so the rope can slide through it. If I drop it and it's loaded, the rope, the Gibbs is going to catch. The problem with this is you get about a foot of slack in between the pulley or the Gibbs and the anchor. So you can have somebody tend this Gibbs um, so as they're pulling they would keep this Gibbs moving forward so that if something happened it wouldn't drop that extra foot. But like I said before, this isn't designed to catch a falling load, so it's kind of a bad practice to allow that to happen. This is just to capture the progress. So we would say haul, we're hauling, stop, set, we set the Gibbs, then reset if we're going to have a Z-Rig or something like that. So that way there's no movement in the haul line. Okay, the next progress capture system is going to be used two triple wrap prussics. So we have a short one and a long one. The short one's going to go closest to the anchor point with the long one in front of it. It's easiest to use a pulley with this. You don't necessarily have to, but the pulley is the easiest way to use it, especially a prussic mining pulley. So what I'm going to do is take the short one and do three wraps onto the rope. So I got one, two, and three. If you pull offset of the knot, it's a little easier to get it situated. And you want to make sure these are dressed really well. This will not work if it's not dressed, dressed correctly. I'll attach that one back to the anchor. Now for the next one, do the same thing. One, two, three. Attach it back to the anchor. Make sure they're really tight. They're good and tight. When we move the rope through this, we want to, what a lot of people call talking prussics, we want to hear them slide through the prussics to make sure they're working. Okay, to operate the tandem triple wrap prussics, it's already got tension on the load line. It's, ho it's holding it. And then as the patient comes up, I'm going to pull the slack through. And the prussic mining pulley is going to keep the prussics forward and let the rope slide through. To load it, I can let go. If something happened and I drop it, uh, the patient's going to be caught. This is designed to catch a falling load. They act as kind of a shock absorber if, if you have a fall. So the tandem triple wrap prussics are, are designed to catch a falling load. To use this in a haul system, I would say haul, stop, set if you want to. You can slide these forward, but you don't get a lot of movement with this. Make sure they're both pushed forward good, and then reset if you needed to, but it's holding, holding the haul line as we do that.